So before getting into the main topic of this video, I just want to provide Flat Earthers with a friendly reminder that if you are going to enter my contest and answer my challenge to produce a flat earth model that explains the equinox sun angles and the operation of equatorial mounts on a flat earth and possibly win yourself a Mavic Pro drone or a P900 camera, you only have 9 days, 12 hours and 43 minutes remaining. At that point, if no successful entries have been received by the Flat Earth community, I will be opening the contest to models based on the globe and every aspect of my challenge is very easily demonstrated on a globe model. So don't delay guys, you've got less than 10 days remaining. Speak now or forever hold your peace. So as mentioned in a previous video, upon returning to the USA this year, I was planning to pick up one of these Coronado Hydrogen Alpha Solar Telescopes and I'm happy to say that I took delivery of it today. And there it is. So the next part of the video will just tell you a little bit more about it. So I just got to my hotel room in Tucson, Arizona and the solar telescope has been waiting here for about a week for me. So here it is before I open the box. So let's take a look inside the box. That's the model. It's a Coronado 70mm Solar Max 3 series. So there's the telescope out of the box and it's made of metal. It's just beautiful quality. This is all metal and weighs about 5 kilograms. And this is the double stack model and you can remove these front etalons and it will then be a standard telescope just for normal viewing of the moon or the stars. It has a two-stage focuser for course adjustment like that or using this knob you can make very fine adjustments. So I'll set it up on the little tracking mount and let's play with it a little more. So here is the solar telescope fitted to the Skywatcher as GTI mount which supports the weight nicely and you can just use a standard camera tripod there. So the whole thing is quite light and portable. And I usually carry the Skywatcher mount in this Pelican style hard case with the B700 and the P900. And this case protects them nicely. I'll show you how this mount is operated by Wi-Fi shortly, but let's take a look at the telescope itself. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the double stack model and if we remove the front cover you can see very clearly the red colour of the lens. Now these hydrogen alpha solar telescopes operate by filtering all the light except a very specific wavelength that allows us to see surface detail and also the solar prominences. Being a double stack model there are two ways we can tune. And also on this diagonal, it has a standard eyepiece, but there's also thread there that allows us to fit a T-ring so that a digital SLR camera can be attached. Now, unfortunately, it's cloudy today and I won't have time for the next two or three days to test this, but at the first opportunity, I'll try and get you some footage from the telescope. So the Skywatcher mount produces its own Wi-Fi network and is controlled by an app on this iPhone. If we connect, I've got the phone connected to the Wi-Fi network being produced by the mount, and we now connect. At this point, we can go through an alignment. I won't worry about that. I'll just show you very briefly how the mount works. Now the sun, is just one degree above the horizon but as I showed you it is cloudy so there's no point even trying to look at that now. However we can just select Mercury for the demonstration and if I hit go to the mount is now moving to the position where it thinks Mercury is. Now when you first power up the mount it assumes that it is level and facing north.
And this mount is battery powered by eight AA batteries, which run for more than 12 hours. So now it asks for a fine alignment and then it would continue to track Mercury. And as I mentioned, the reason I bought this particular model, it's the only one in the Coronado range that allows you to remove the two front etalons and use the telescope as a standard telescope. So let me just show you that. So there it is with the filters removed and that makes it very versatile because as well as being a hydrogen alpha solar scope you can use it as a normal telescope as well. So I'm sure anyone who is married can relate to this. I was sending some photos of the new telescope to my wife earlier and she responded by saying beautiful telescope for my darling. She just abbreviates darling to DA. She gave it the thumbs up and then she said, I like the colour, because the colour is the most important criteria when you buy a telescope. 